my god bam hey youtube we got the latest information oh my god 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 the team has listened they have changed a couple of things so let me put myself down here Boop. look do you see that up there Oh my God. So we're getting some uh, changes to um, the format. Apparently, chat, there was some... Um, there was some discussions with the team after the unpleasant um, delivery of the last update where the player base of the community was left with... Aw, in, insert aw track right here. Um, yeah, they were left with like, yeah, this is horrible. We're going to have to wait for Ultimate Freya to come out later in the year. This is trash. This is garbage. But the team listened to the complaints of the crybabies. Yes, we're a bunch of crybabies. So we cry and we got what we wanted. We changed it, uh, changed the way they're going to deliver the uh, season one, which kind of leaves a little bit of um, a little bit of a problem for the, um, uh, November when there's nothing slated after October 10th through November, all the way up to December 4th. Uh, yeah, hopefully they'll at least add some events or something during that because that's a long wait. But Chad, let's see what they have for ro uh, week one update, which is coming out in a couple of days, actually. I'm excited. Dungeon Invasion, Descendant Haley, Inversion Reinforcement, Season 1 Battle Pass, and more. I love how they include and more there because we are definitely going to be getting a lot more updates and a lot more hot fixes, a lot more quality of life changing throughout the August 29th patch and on. Um, on week 7 update, October 10th, we will be getting Void Intercept Battle, Ultimate Weapon, External Components, Descendant Exclusive Spawns, Ultimate Freyna Hard Mode, Infiltration modification modules ultimate modules and more just to point out something that i think that we we would be really welcomed and appreciated it's around the time that they add a descendant exclusive spawns that they also let us choose different spawns for our different old um descendants right so if i want to use the heart spawn on my bunny i don't want to use the same heart spawn on my blair let us use individual spawn points for every descendant this would be a great time to include that to the game as a quality of life um what else here chad so yeah we're gonna get ultimate freina um and uh, october 10th now new changes that is crazy alongside this they also um give me a second chat alongside this change i know i'm all the corner of your screen let me move myself here let me waddle over here um alongside these changes we do have a brand new um youtube video um detailing a little bit uh i don't know if the, the youtube video has changed yet I don't, I don't know if it's changed, but I, my um, YouTube feed just showed me a new video that's put out 43 minutes ago. Let's see if there's something new. Previously on the first Descendant. Time has finally come. I have been waiting for you since the beginning. I am your guide. Just how much do you plan to rely on that guide? Come Wait, out. this is actually new. This is actually new. This is telling you more about the season? What? Previously, on the first Descendant. Previously. Hire me! Hire me, Nexon! Previously, on the first Descendant. I am your guide. Just how much do you plan to rely on that guide? Karel, do you truly Ooh. plan on inverting the Ironheart data? Kick off will engulf Inglis. The of the Vulcus Testicles. Oh, with fear. Goodbye, Lepic. A fetus say. Turn the ship around. Turn the ship around. The first we descendant. We to fend off our enemy's large-scale attack, but the war is far from over. The Colossus still threatens us, and our enemies are plotting new strategies. Oh my god. Can Ingress ever find true peace? Has Corel really given up on the war? Invasion. After Corel's Episode fleet disappeared, one. the Vulcus began moving we already from deep know within this. the dungeon to raid the ancestors' facilities in Ingress and reclaim the outpost. Detecting this, Ingress immediately uh, dispatched a scout. Haley. That scout's name is Haley. Beaver. 
Oh, Lee, Scott. Who rose from a supply soldier in the guerrilla unit to a legendary Ayow! sniper is now a newcomer in ba, ba, the ba, 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 ba. Ruthlessly eliminating enemies with her oh, anti-material sniper rifle. Frick. She dominates battles with her ability to drop her body temperature and emit cold air when her emotions run high. When shooting from a distance, her weapon's critical hit multiplier increases, making her an excellent fit for sniper rifles. Yeah. She possesses sub-zero bullets that fire multiple I shots. I can't wait to main Haley chat. Snare that pushes back and rapidly cools down enemies. Sh Sharon in front. is quaking Above in a corner. All, Haley's specialty is switching to the her better sniper, sniper girl rifle is here. And firing a single incredibly powerful shot, stronger than any other uh, attack. Wait a minute, hum. Uh, what was that number? Did that say, did that said 460? That didn't seem too strong, right? ...is switching to her anti-material sniper rifle and firing a single incredibly... What the hell was that? I don't think I'm gonna get the number, Chuck. Incredible. Frickin' frackin', I can't pause it. I got granny reflexes. Oh, that... Well, it just says, like, 9 million? Girl, my perforator can do that. Not on a boss, obviously. Incredibly powerful shot, <laughs> stronger than any other attack. Oh my god! Invasion in dungeon! One, the Vogus launches a new strategy, the invasion. Invasions occur randomly in two dungeons of the hard difficulty infiltration operations. Players can choose to enter between the existing operations or the invasions. Ooh. Invasion dungeons are only available for solo play. We Testing already, the strength we already the know this, right? Chad, if you guys wanted to see the last reaction to this video, the last one, uh, you could check out my last video. Sorry. Um, I'm trying to get my words out there. Um, let's see here, uh, YouTubes. Um, or Chad, um, so these little buffs are pretty cool. There was one that I found out uh, that we looked over. Um, that you get more uh, movement speed the lower your, your health is. And uh, I was thinking that would be good for Bionic Bunny. Team attributes. Like, like some of these things are a little bit dookie, by the way. Recovery, survival, and seasons. Through the inversion reinforcement, but, uh, yeah, but I feel like Bionic Bunny is going to be like a good build for this. Yeah. Official effects for progressing through seasonal content and can also obtain effects that compensate for their weakness. Each season, we plan to tailor and replace the inversion reinforcement effects, providing effects that perfectly fit the seasonal content. That's pretty cool. Ultimate frame. In addition to a new descendant, a new ultimate descendant will be and uncover the tail. Oh, oh my lord, chat. Well, I think we've already seen the, the rest of this video. Well, okay, so here we go, chat. A little recap of what's happening with the first descendant. So a lot of people were led to believe because they did announce that there would have three updates for the first descendant. They would have one in um, August 29th, and then one on October, and then one on, or one September, right? And then one on uh, the end of October or something. But um, or I don't I don't remember their dates. There's I'm scatterbrained here. But now instead of the two last updates being separated they're adding both of the two last updates together so we're only going to have two updates period yeah two updates and they're going to be pretty big updates the last one on october 10th will have um ultimate freina and all the other stuff combined so if people were waiting uh well you don't have to wait anymore they are combining them yeah I know, I know, big changes, chat. Big, big, big changes. And we love big changes around here. It's true, it's true. Let's see if we can come up with a, with a lot of little first descendant stuff. So again, remember this update. A season one invasion, August 29th to December 4th. This is how long season one will be going on for. By the way, chat, just to add here not that i have any inside info but the developers could give us updates and quality of life and they will in between all these patches just to put that out there
because they have been doing it since the release of the game. They have been giving us steadily content, hot fixes, quality of life patches, and more. So there is no doubt in my mind that they will continue to do this um, alongside the release of this. Yeah. Isn't it cool, chat? Isn't it cool? We're gonna get our little first to sin and stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, here we go. Recently, I've noticed that many of you are concerned about our current update schedule for season one, and as a result, we decided to readjust it. To make a long story short, I stuck a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass, and I haven't seen one yet. To make a long story short, we've decided to move up our update schedule for October 30th to October 10th. The previously, previously scheduled was initially planned to provide consistent updates every month before each content release. However, I have to admit that I failed to fully meet your expectations. So rather than splitting into three partial updates, season one will be divided into two updates, one on August 10th and the other on October 10th. Along with the above change, we have also begun examining the update methods for the upcoming seasons in the future. In order to do so, our previous third update for season one will be merged to the second update, which was mentioned above, will, will take place on October 10th. Currently, the dev team is working on continuous updates and hotfixes since our official launch. We are taking various measures and methods, such as recognizing the development process and even actively recruiting additional personnel. We will do our best to prepare better updates that will make you satisfied. Thank you. That is a W chat. That is what you want to hear from your favorite developers. Hey, you. Yeah, you. How about you stop circling around YouTube and hit that comment, like, and subscribe. Yeah? You find yourself a nice little waifu now. Do me a favor. Hit that follow button.